Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a super simple winter birch mini. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So to start with I am using acrylic craft paint, a white and a grey that I mixed myself. Shock horror, you'll be so surprised to know that I'm using acrylic craft paint again. Now the white polish that I've put on my other nails is from Cirque Colors and it's Carpe ADM. The brush I'm using is my RFK brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop. All the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below as per usual. So once your base coat is completely dry and yes I'm still using OPI's Nail Envy, all you need to do is dip your paintbrush into some white paint and then draw a line from the top of your cuticle down to the tip of your nail. And that's it. Well, I mean, that's not it, but that's it for the start of it. <laughs> so once you have your vertical lines done, you can then draw our, or paint a horizontal line across the tip of your nail and then fill that in. Next, with the tip of your brush, you're going to add some tiny little branches on each one of those vertical lines. Now to give your branches a little bit more dimension and make them look a little bit more realistic we're going to start adding a little bit of that light grey just to one side of each of those branches and a little bit to the, uh, the little you know, branches that are coming off those vertical lines. Now in order to make the snow a little bit more authentic and bearing in mind we don't have snow here um, or we do but it's only on our mountains and if we want to see snow we have to go to it. It doesn't fall out of the sky and onto our roofs or out in our front yards or anything like that. So we're just adding a little bit of sort of wavy pattern uh, at the where the branches meet the snow. <laughs> you know what I mean. And then on one of those curves I'm adding a little bit of light grey just to add a little bit more dimension. And then if you want to add some falling snow like I did you can just using the tip of your brush and some of the white paint. Next, like I always do, I'm sealing it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual. And then because I wanted it all to be completely matte, I'm using Sea Sirens Sea Matte to mattify the entire mini. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I hope you give it a go. It's super simple and easy to do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.